the decision for of the Verifa Tetra network was made a long time ago. Um, the, the network has been operating for about 15 years, am I right? Yeah, a little bit more. Yes, and, and how, how happy are you with the network? Because that decision was made a long time ago, you've used the network extensively, and what can you say after that many years? Actually, we are very satisfied with, with this network, and, and uh, the decision making was rather difficult at that point when, when we made it, because we were the first first one who made decision about uh, to use Tetra network for all authorities and, and covering the whole country and, and we were the first one and, and afterwards we, we are very satisfied with the technology and also the, with the economy of this network. Yes, and I can imagine that after Ferva uh, was established and you're using Tetra, many other countries have Meanwhile, using uh, or meanwhile using Tetra as well. So that must be for you um, a notice to that you have made the right decision at that point in time, is it? Yes, uh, actually we didn't know, but we, we were hoping that uh, other countries were, were following us after that, and, and actually it happened, and, and we were the forerunners, and, and uh, we were happy in the beginning, and now we are very satisfied with this okay. network. When you have a network like that, and once you want to extend the network, not to even extend, but first maintain the network, make sure it runs every single day as being asked, um, you need to do some upgrades after time. Um, how have you managed that uh, with the Fairview network? Uh, that's true, because our network has been up and running for 15 years, and uh, it's the natural time to make the midlife upgrade investment and we are before we have one third of our network we have already renewed and we are going to renew the next one third of our network and the last third is coming in are the future. You, okay so are you talking only about software upgrades or also hardware uh, upgrades? Uh, I'm talking about the hardware but also the software. Now, Verifa is also using an MVNO service uh, for data capabilities. Can you explain a little bit more about that? Because the trials have been done, I understood. We actually have made contracts with the with the Airbus and, and other vendors, and, and we're starting on, on the project right now. But as we know that the Tetra capabilities on, on the data side is, is are limited, so we think that this is a strate strategic step towards the future of, of public authority networks. So we're just in the beginning phase, but it's, it looks promising. So you think that's a logical step to use that typical kind of service, MVNO service, for any operator using Tetra? Well, for, I mean, with the, when they want to use data services? Absolutely. I think at, at this point, this is the, the, the right step, because we don't know yet about the standardization of LTE on, on the critical voice and data. And, and therefore, I think this is just a natural and strategic step step on, on, on that path. Okay. But Tetra will stay for a longer period. Um, I understood that we're not thinking about leaving Tetra already into 2020, even far beyond. And especially with the last uh, decision uh, of the Finnish government using Tetra for, uh, as a replacement for GSMR, how do you think Tetra will evolve? When do you think it will be fading away, finally down the line? Uh, for the railways, uh, if they are going to start the t using the Tetra, it takes some years. So there is a transfer period to transfer from existing GSMR to Tetra. And still they would like to use it for 10 years. So at least it will be for 2025 or even to 2030, we will run the existing network. Well, so the lesson that we learned from this is, in fact, that Tetra will then be there until at least 2020 and might be even longer, is that correct? Mm, I can see 2025, 2030. Okay. So we're at the Snook event from Airbus Defense and Space in Cannes. Uh, you've been here before at the event? Sometimes. 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 How do you experience the event? How do you exchange the communications with other end users and do you learn from that? It's a great place to have networking, to know these colleagues from around the world, as we noticed that there are a lot of delegates from different countries. So I think it's a 
good combination uh, and we are also concentrated to these technologies and to these features which we are running in each country so we are concentrating on the key things here so i think it's a great place to visit here yeah and also on the mvmo part of the mm -hmm. business uh, i saw astrid also at the event so you i guess you're communicating your experience with astrid as well absolutely i think that airbus has has created a great event for networking as as well as to seeing the net next generations and the future-proof concept, so uh, I think that's a great event. This was Gertjan Wolf from Snoop 2015. Come on.